Hi everyone, this is a follow-up video on the DJI charging hub. Here's a link to the other video. This one will be done in 4K, so it's uh, nice. And also from another perspective. So, this is the charging hub. That's the back. That's the connector for the power. That's the emblem for the DJI. Hope you can see it. That's the bottom with the rubber feet. Those are the connectors for the batteries and they're spring loaded. As you can see, those are the co connectors for it. There's four of them, one for each battery. These are one of the batteries. If you have one, you should know what it looks like. Uh, when you press it, it gives you the battery indicator. Those two are, this one is full. The other two is, uh, or the other three are somewhat empty. This is how you connect it. Line it up and you press it down. That's how it should be connected. And you can, that's the full one. You'll see later how the LEDs look like when they, they are charging. Now I have connected all four of the batteries. You can see from the side view how it looks like when it's connected. Take a look at the other side with the battery connector. So four batteries are connected. This is the included uh, DJI brick with the DJI Phantom and you have your uh, battery connector and also the controller connector to, to charge both of those but you cannot charge both at the same time. That's the battery connector and uh, you can connect an individual battery or you can plug it into the hub like this. Once you plug it in, the, the unit checks each battery to see what state they are in and orange means it's not charging and you can see that it's cycling through each one of them to see how much state of charge they have. And when it is a good charged battery, it turns to solid green. And once once it starts charging, it uh, becomes a um, flashing green light, which is that one. As you can see, that's the flashing green. And it goes in a, a queue, so it will go in a clockwise fashion. After that one's charged, it will go to the next one, and then the next, and the next. So, so this really prevents you from having to connect a single battery at a time and having to come back and reconnect it. Um, so if you had a single battery, if you had multiple batteries, with just one, um, this is how you would charge normally a single battery. You just connect the uh, connector to one battery, and then it checks the battery, and then it starts charging it. And then once you're done with the other battery, you have to come back like in about half an hour, and then. You 
you plug it in. But with the hub, that this is basically prevented. So you plug everything in and it will, it will charge each battery one at a time. Here's another look at it. It's cycling through the uh, each battery to see what state of charge it is in, and then after that's done, it will um, start charging. But that one, we we know it's a full state of charge, so it's it's solid green. Orange means it's just in queue, not charging. And you can see that that one's just started to charge, which is a flashing green light. And the orange light is not charging, but in queue. 